In today's tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how the reporting screen operates. The report is divided into four distinct models. First, we have the productivity data model, where administrators can observe the number of groups created by customers and understand how the product functions in real-world operations. Secondly, we have the accounts model, which provides revenue data and gives insight into how accounting works on the admin panel side of data generation. The third model revolves around driver data, allowing administrators to track driver performance, earnings, and activity logs. The final model is the customer report, where administrators can review customer reports, understand how they work, and see how transactions are being generated. Let's start by examining productivity. Within this section, administrators can review past customer data and search for a ride using a specific ride number. Administrators also have the ability to filter data using various parameters such as driver, customer, payment mode, trip status, and many more. Furthermore, if administrators wish to see how many trips were generated by a customer or dispatcher, they can use the filter function. Lastly, administrators can apply date filters to the data. Once all filters have been applied, administrators have the option to export the ride history data. When the Export Data button is clicked, the exported ride history data is sent via email. Administrators can also view the details of each trip by clicking on the ride number. Moving on to the Pickup Point Heat Map, administrators can track data on a daily basis or apply date filters. They can review the heat map to see how trips are being generated, identify the locations from which they originate, and count the number of trips generated. If an admin applies a date filter, such as the last 30 days, they will be able to view data according to that specific requirement. The data displayed will show how many trips were generated from which location. Moving on to request analytics, the admin can check the total number of trips generated today, the ratio of trips, how many trips went to no driver, how many were canceled, and how many were completed. This way, the admin can review the data of requests generated by customers. The admin also has the capability to apply filters based on vehicle type. They can also check how many trials were generated by customers. Lastly, the admin can filter the data by date. In this manner, the admin can filter and review the data. They can also check the database on a date-wise basis. This is how the request analytics feature works. The final feature is the cancellation report. In this report, the admin can see how many trips were canceled by the driver, the reasons for cancellation, and the main reasons why drivers are canceling trips. This information can be viewed from the admin panel. The same process applies to passenger cancellations. The admin can see how many trips were canceled by the customer and the main reasons for cancellation. In this way, productivity reports will be generated by the admin. They can review the data, see how the trips data is generated, and what kind of reports are being generated under productivity.